Right friends, welcome back to News at a Glance for 28th week. This is from 11th July to 17th July. The first one is uh, the second reactor of uh, Kudankulam nuclear power project that is the KKNPP was commissioned on 10th July and this is 1000 megawatt. It will reach its maximum capacity of 1000 megawatt within few months. And two, three things I would like to tell you. This was built with Russian assistance. That is the first point. Second point is this is towards the east coast in Tamil Nadu. This is second important point. And this project was conceived in 2002. And these two reactors were supposed to be completed in five years. But now the second reactor finally completed in 14 years. And this was built with Russian assistance, so please don't forget. Look into the next one, Bangladesh government banned Peace TV. This is into the news recently. And Peace TV, this is run by Indian preacher Jakir Noik. Bangladesh government banned this TV following allegations that it inspired terrorism in that country. We celebrate 11th July as World Population Day. The theme for 2016 is investing in teenage girls. This is the theme for 2016 and at present the world population is 740 crores or you can say 7.4 billion. Please don't forget 1 billion is 100 crores and billions, millions is the international system of numeration and about 52% of the world population is under 30 year old and most of this uh, young population is in developing countries and countries like Germany and Japan are suffering due to aged population or you can say grey population and unfortunate aspect is 65 million people across the world are forced out of their homes and 21 million people across the world are staying as refugees. And another unfortunate aspect is half of this 21 million people are below the age of 18 and half of the refugees are from three countries. One is Syria, then Afghanistan, then Somalia, right? So this is the unfortunate aspect of world as we celebrate World Population Day on 11th July. Government decided to increase the buffer stock of pulses from 8 lakh tons to 20 lakh tons. Previously, we used to hear about buffer stock of wheat and rice to ensure food security. But now, pulses problem came to the forefront. Our production is around 17 million tons and our requirement is around 22 to 24 million tons. That's why we are importing around 5 million tons of pulses. That is one aspect. And another aspect, please don't forget, we produce maximum pulses in the world. So, maximum pulses production is in our country. And at the same time, we are the maximum importing country also. So, we are the leading importer of pulses in the world. And so, as yes, to solve the problem of pulses, recently a committee headed by the Chief Economic Advisor Aravind Subramanian was constituted. Sushila Karki became the 25th Chief Justice of Nepal and she is the first woman to assume the office of Chief Justice. And at the same time, please don't forget, Bijja Devi Pandari is the President of Nepal. Look into the next one. Google decided to train around 2 million developers in India in its Android platform over the next 3 years. And India is expected to have the largest developer population with the 4 million developers by 2018. And Google will partner with the educational institutions, universities and other organizations. And at the same time, please don't forget in the month of May, when the CEO of Apple visited India, Apple announced setting up of a software laboratory in Bengaluru to support the startups and developers working on the iOS platform. iOS platform is of Apple, please don't forget. So, the giants like Google and Apple are giving more emphasis on developing Android platform as well as iOS platforms in recent times. SEBI extended deadline for some listed companies. 
you may ask example for some listed companies bhcl ntpc larson and tubro these are examples of listed companies and sebi extended deadline for these companies to file their returns for quarter ending june 16 till september 14 here a pertinent question is why this deadline was extended basically with a view to switch over to indian accounting standards or indas so as to compare statistics of various countries internationally we are moving towards or you can say aligning towards international financial reporting standards so international financial reporting standards or ifrs is the standard platform and through indas we are moving towards international financial reporting standards that means one country's accounts can be compared with other country's accounts and that will facilitate better comparison of various balance sheets in various countries so that's why india is also moving towards indian accounting standards that's why sebi has extended the deadline for filing the quarterly returns HDFC will issue synthetic Indian rupee notes. Notes. This is uh, nothing but a bond, and uh, this time period of this uh, note is uh, three years and one month. HDFC plans to raise around rupees three thousand crores by issuing this Indian rupee bonds to overseas investors. And here one word is there: synthetic. what is the meaning of synthetic financial products synthetic financial products are structured in such a way to suit the cash flow needs of the investor if investor has purchased these indian rupee notes then these products are structured to suit the cash flow requirements of the investor then only these are called synthetic products So HDFC became the first Indian public issuer of synthetic Indian rupee notes. Right friends look into the next one at least 84 people were killed when a lorry plowed through the crowds gathered for Bastille Day celebrations in Nice southern France. Bastille Day you may ask what is meant by Bastille Day that is nothing but national day of France. This is to commemorate the storming of the Bastille on 14th July 1789. So you can say 14th July is France National Day. On that day, thousands of people were celebrating National Day on the beach front of southern France city of Nice. Please look into the slide. This is Nice. This is towards the Mediterranean Sea, and. a terrorist who is a tunisian born french citizen plowed through the packed crowds gathered for celebrating bastille day and 84 people were killed look into the next issue pakistan declared july 19 as a black day all of you are well aware hizbul mujahideen commander burhan wani was killed recently in clash with security forces and pakistan declared july 19 as black day and at the same time pakistani prime minister declared burhan wani as a martyr and india reacted sharply and stated we are dismayed at the continued attempts by pakistan to interfere in the internal matters of india look into the next one wholesale price index is at plus 1.62% this is 20 month high If you look at consumer price index this is a slowly inching up at 5.77% this is 22 month high and please don't forget wholesale price index maximum weightage of 65% is for manufactured products and in consumer price index food products has got more weightage that is the main difference and in recent times the inflation is mostly in pulses vegetables and sugar if you look at pulses around 27% inflation is there and if you look at vegetables around 17% and sugar 26% sufficient sugar stocks are available in our country and recently lot of exports are taking place from our country 
and so as to control export of sugar. India recently imposed export duty on sugar. So, government is taking several steps to control the prices of pulses as well as sugar, but the prices of vegetables are basically season oriented. Right? Income declaration scheme payment schedule is extended in phases till 30 September 2017. All of you are well aware income declaration scheme is basically to unravel domestic black money and here as per original schedule entire tax penalty as well as assess to be paid by 30 November 2016. Several people expressed reservations and expressed their inability to pay within November 30. That's why government liberalized the payment schedule. Only 25% is to be paid by November 30 another 25% by March 31 and 50% by September 30, 2017. Hindustan Construction Company Limited HCC became the first to get a debt relief under S4A plan. S4A we discussed in the lecture part recently. S4A is a scheme for sustainable structuring of stressed assets. This is one type of mechanism to bring out the companies from stress so that the banks will also be benefited. Banks have given thousands of crores of loans to companies and when companies fail then what will happen? Banks will also be in trouble. So as to come out of that problem, Reserve Bank of India announced a scheme for sustainable structuring of stressed assets and HCC became the first to get a debt relief under S4A plan. State Bank of India recently signed a memorandum of understanding with the SIM before that. You should understand IIT Bombay established this sign. Sign is Society of Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Sign was established by IIT Bombay. What is the purpose of sign? Sign is basically to promote innovation by startups in the financial sector. And now memorandum of understanding was signed between State Bank of India and SIGN which facilitates evaluation of startups promoted by SIGN for commercial exploitation on new age digital products and services. Right? So, so as to promote new age digital concepts, products and services, State Bank of India tied up with the SIGN. Right? Tata Advanced Systems, this is company of Tata Group, then Bell Helicopter, this is Aerospace Major of United States of America and these two came together to manufacture commercial and military helicopters under Make in India program. Look into the next one, President of India inaugurated the nation's biggest skill based competition, India Skills 2016. And please don't forget, 15th July 2016 is World Youth Skills Day. And this skill development is monitored by Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. And the theme for 2016 World Youth Skills Day is Skills Development to Improve Youth Employment. And Best Talent from this India Skills 2016 competition will participate in World Skills competition in 2017 to be held in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Looking to the next one, Japan's population has fallen for the seventh consecutive year. Unfortunate aspect is Japanese population is falling for the past seven years, but the worst fall occurred last year when the population is reduced by 2,71,000 in one year. This is the problem of developed countries. Populations are falling or in some countries the population growths are abysmally low and more grey population. These are the problems which are affecting the economies as a whole and on January 1, 2016, the population of Japan stands at 125.9 million or you can say 12 crore 59 lakhs. Look into the next one. India is the world's largest producer of pulses as well as largest importer and India produces around 17 million tons. The next highest production is from Canada. Canada produces 5.4 million tons and largest exporter of pulses in the world is Canada at 4.2 million tons. Right? Look into the next one. Cabinet committee 
on economic affairs approved the disinvestment of 15% paid up equity of NBCC limited this is public sector undertaking where government of india's shareholding is 90% and now government decided to sell 15% shares and the sale of this 15% shares will fetch rupees 1706 crores to the government and at the same time please don't forget the total disinvestment target for 2016-17 is rupees 56500 crores of rupees Reserve Bank of India basically to study the regulatory issues pertaining to financial technology and digital banking because nowadays a lot of payments are taking place through digital banking. How to regulate them, how to control this financial technology and digital banking aspects and so as to look into these aspects a committee or you can say 12 member panel was constituted by reserve bank of india headed by sudarshan sen executive director of reserve bank of india world health organization recently declared india free from as you may ask what is meant by as as is the tropical infection of bones skin and joints this is caused by bacteria please don't forget so recently india was declared as free at the same time in the year 2015 india was declared maternal and neonatal tetanus free you may ask what is meant by maternal maternal means during the stage of carrying and at the same time during the childbirth that pertains to maternal health and the other one is the neonatal neonatal is the health of the child up to four weeks of age after birth so previously the biggest problem was the maternal and the neonatal tetanus and these aspects of maternal and the neonatal tetanus were controlled because of more institutional deliveries previously deliveries used to take place through the supervision of quacks and through the supervision of untrained persons now most of the deliveries are taking place in institutions and that's why this maternal and neonatal tetanus came down in our country so if you look at polio india was declared polio free in 2014 and the last case of confirmed polio was recorded in 2011 so 2014 polio free 2015 maternal and neonatal tetanus free 2016 as free so these things were declared by world health organization india and asian development bank signed 100 million dollar loan agreement for irrigation projects drainage system and water management in venor sub basin of kaveri delta in tamil nadu and when you talk about kaveri please don't forget the krishna rajasagar dam is on kaveri that is in karnataka and metur dam is on Kaveri but in Tamil Nadu and Kaveri Delta no one should forget the region of Tanjur and Kumbakonam area and that is basically Kaveri Delta and to develop this Kaveri Delta Vennar sub basin this hundred million dollar loan agreement was signed between India and Asian Development Bank. Dronavalli Harika won the FIDE Women's Grand Prix Trophy in Chengdu China and please don't forget Dronavalli Harika is the second woman chess player after Koneru Hampi to achieve the title of Grand Master and she won the Grand Master title in 2011. Mahindra Aerospace, that is the company of Mahindra and Mahindra and Airbus Helicopters, this is the group of Europe. So, the news is Mahindra Aerostructures backed a supplier contract from Airbus Helicopters to supply airframe parts for Airbus's AS565 Panther Helicopters. Please look into the slide. These are Panther Helicopters. And now Mahindra Aerostructures got a supplier contract from Airbus Helicopters. NASCOM, all of you are well aware, this is the body of uh, IT and BPO industry in our country that is National Association of Software and Service Companies and it stated India's first center of excellence on internet of things was established at Bengaluru right 
So it will encourage startups to come up with tech solutions on Internet of Things. Bangladesh and India signed a landmark agreement for construction of 1320 megawatt coal based power plant, the biggest project under bilateral cooperation. For this purpose, a Bangladesh India Friendship Power Company Private Limited was constituted recently. The joint venture enterprise signed the deal with Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. And if someone talks about uh, this Rampal Dharmal Power Project, this is in Bangladesh. But environmentalists expressed concern because it is close to Sundarbans region. So, if someone talks about Rampal, that is a 1320 megawatt coal based power plant to be constructed jointly by India and Bangladesh. And if someone talks about Sampur power plant that is going to come up in Sri Lanka jointly between India and Sri Lanka. Right friends, with this let us conclude news at a glance. Please join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.